we recently covered a model able to imitate someone's voice called Volley. Let's jump a step further in the creative direction with a new AI called MusicLM. MusicLM allows you to generate music from a text description, like How cool is that? These two pieces you've just heard were completely AI generated. And you can listen to many more examples on their website linked below. Even more interesting than listening to a few more examples, which I will play in a few minutes, is how it works. Let's dive into what this AI is. But first, I'd love to hear from you guys. Since we have an AI community here and probably trying to apply all those cool models, you surely learned new skills, applications, or programming language in 2022. Are there platforms or services that became your new essentials or some you stopped using? If so, please share your experience and help the developer ecosystem grow and improve by participating in the Developer Nation survey. Every respondent who signs up to take their survey will receive a virtual goodie bag with many free resources such as reports, promo codes, discounts for various tools and platforms. With a chance to win $19,000 worth of prizes available in prize draws. This is only to answer a few developer or no-code software questions which anyone can do. How cool is that? Plus, they will also send me the survey for our community to help me build better videos for you guys based on your needs, which I think is pretty neat. So please take a few minutes and click the first link below to answer their survey and help us better understand our community. Now the answer we were all waiting for, how can an AI generate music from text? How can it generate actual instruments and voice from general text descriptions like a meditative song, calming and soothing, with flutes and guitars? So how did they do that? Well, as with most recent models, it was by taking the best of multiple approaches. More specifically, they mentioned that their approach is very similar to DALI 2, which I already covered on the channel, but with a difference that it generates music rather than images and uses transformer-based models instead of diffusion-based ones. So let's get back a little. What do we have to do here? We have to process text in a way that the machine can understand it. We have to understand it we have to generate a new and unseen music track that will relatively mean the same thing as the text input. These are basically the same steps as with DALI and other image generation models. We take some text, understand it, and then generate an image that represents this text in another modality humans understand. Let's go into these steps one by one. First, we need to process text in a way the machine can understand it. How do we do that? Well, we do that by taking a model trained with a lot of text and sound pairs that learns to represent both similarly in its encoded space. It basically learns to transform both into similar representations in its own language. This is the same as using the clip model with generative image models if you've seen my other videos on the topic, where we want our text to be the same as an image representing it. This will be done thanks to a long training process with a lot of examples. In our case, the specific model is called Mulan. Then, as I said, we need to understand this text. This is done in a sequential manner by learning transformations to go from our text to audio representation. First, we will use a model that we trained on our music examples to learn a way to map our Mulan encodings, which we call tokens, into semantic encodings or semantic tokens. This will simply give more information to the tokens for our audio transformation, which we now do. We use everything we have, our text transformed Mulan tokens and our new semantic tokens based on learned transformation and use a third model called Soundstream to create acoustic tokens, ready to be interpreted by the model and generate our sound. And voila! This is how Google Research was able to create a model generating music with such great results from simple text descriptions. 
but don't take my word for it. Let's listen to a few more examples. They also release Music Caps, a dataset composed of 5,500 music text pairs with rich text descriptions provided by human experts, which will surely help improve future approaches. Of course, this was just an overview of this new MusicLM model. I invite you to read their paper for more information. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week with another amazing paper.